isn't it nice though that your mom is getting better and that she's better and we asked her what the difference is that she could see and she says you don't look tired anymore in your can you imagine sleeping nine hours a day and then having to take four naps just to function or being in so much pelvis pain that you can't even move and when you sought out medical attention they said hey it's all in your head and by the way maybe we should put snake in them in your pelvis Everyone, this is Dr. Jason West. I post about real people, real hope, and real stories of success. And in a minute, you're going to meet Christine and Brandon hear a life-changing story about hope, health, and treatments that change their life. If you like what you see, please like and share. At the end of the video, I'll share with you exactly what we did for Christine. Hey everyone, it's Dr. West and Christine and Brandon here in the West Clinic. We are doing uh, Christine's uh, re-evaluation, and it's been a remarkable transformation. And so I don't want to take that away from her. So, um, Christine, without like, I just whatever you're comfortable sharing, how did you feel before you came in the office? Hmm. Uh, before I came into the office, I was uh, sick constantly, um, trying to find my own answers, uh, constantly sick with UTIs and um, bacterial infections. Um, not being able to exercise, and I was always a very physically active person. Um, so, you know, uh, just being directed constantly to new places and trying to seek help other than antibiotics because uh, I was becoming to have antibiotic resistance, negative reactions to antibiotics in bed, um, sick and not sure if I was going to live. <laughs> So, um, so, so Christine with that, like I didn't expect all the noise to come out. I'm like getting choked <laughs> up myself because, because you're saying how you felt before, but how do you feel now? Like, cause, and, and what did your daughter tell you? Cause that was yeah. that really struck a chord. In yeah. My heart. Well, just sitting, we were talking last night at dinner and, um, uh, I said, you know, she was sad that we had to come again, you know, cause there has been a bit of a sacrifice, but I said, isn't it nice though that your mom is getting better and that she's better and we asked her what the difference is that she could see and she says you don't look tired anymore in your eyes mom you know um and so that means a lot to me and also other people have said you know i've i've got that light back so brandon um your observation um when uh, what was christine like before she came into the office okay well it, it's interesting because i We've been married four months. I've only known her about seven, eight months. And so I didn't see all of the, the stuff before. But what I, what I did see is, was, well, she's had, obviously had a physical change. But one of the things was, like she says, she was tired all the time. I remember one, one day when we, were, when we were dating that at the end of the day, I talked to her and she told me she had taken four naps that day just so that she could get up and do a paper for homework or hang out with the girls a little bit. Um, one of the biggest things that she was dealing with is brain fog. Um, mm. And she, she didn't mention that, but she wasn't present. So in an hour long date, she would be absent half of that time. And with her daughters as well, her daughters would ask her questions and she would just She'd be there, but then she wouldn't be there. She'd give answers to questions that weren't really the responses that should have been given because she just wasn't wasn't able to be there. So tired, always constant UTI, constantly urinating often, constantly sharing with me of um, pain in her, in her, that area, pelvis area, pelvic burning and things like that. But it, it was constant. And Brandon, what, what is your observation of her now? I mean, we've been through about 10 weeks of yeah. treatment. Um, what do you see now? Well, number one is she's present all the time. And that's, that's huge for me, for her daughters. But at the same time, she doesn't have the pains gone. Um, she's not complaining about the pain, but she's also not feeling it. Um, she used to eat uh, two M&Ms and get pelvic burning. This last week we were in New York and she had three pieces of pumpkin pie 
a pumpkin, a lemon meringue pie. I can't believe I'm hearing this. And three chalk, three Reese's Pieces <laughs> cups in one night. Three yeah. years. And so, and and there were no symptoms. Right. So, <laughs> so this is a remarkable example. When Rebecca, or excuse me, when when Christine came in to see us initially, um, she's been doing a ton of things right. Like she's a really clean eater. She was avoiding sugar. She was doing these home remedies. And she's saying, hey, how come I can't get better? My urinary system isn't working right. My brain's not working right. My energy levels are horrible. And yet I'm doing all these things right. So what's wrong with me? And, and the answer to it is we just needed to give it a little bit more, just a, a nudge. And so we gave her the vitamin C infusions with high dose electron donors and with the right uh, minerals. We treated her blood tests with medical nutritional therapy. And then we reset the nerves and I, all of those are equally important. Um, when we you come into the office, to so the right side, we do infusion work. To the left side, we do um, you know pain work and neural therapy. And being able to reset that nerve memory, like that's one of the biggest things that yeah. happened. Yeah, yes, and we didn't even talk about that. Yeah. And so, I mean, a lot of people do vitamin infusion therapies, but where they miss out is you have to reprogram the nerves because your body, so for Christine, her body was here and her mind was saying, I think that there's more to life than that. And so she should have been living here. So you put all the building blocks in, but what made the big jump for her was getting the nerves to open, close and reset. Mm -hmm. And that neural therapy, it's just, it's such a critical component of people that haven't been feeling good for a long time. And so uh, Christine, when you were filling out the paperwork, I, I have to share this with people because it's really neat. Yeah, from the time we started to now, there was a percentage that you were better. And what was the percentage? I would say 90% better. I want to say 100%, but you know, at the same time being sick so long, you're going, okay, three months, I'll say 100% better because I want to know really, is it gonna last forever? But it, it, and, and, and on the doctor,